Question number 16 says find the direction in which a straight line must be drawn through the point minus 1 comma 2 so that its point of intersection with the line x plus y equal to 4 may be at a distance of 3 units from this point. Now how will we deal with this question? Please take a look at this. If you have studied something called parametric form of equation of line, you would be thinking about a particular method of parametric form. But then the NCID people have not touched upon that and for that uh, in case of direction we just have the slope right. So we can talk about the slope first of all and see where does that take us. Let us say, let us say direction in which a straight line must be drawn through the point minus 1 comma 2. Let us say this is the point minus 1 comma 2 and this is a line let us say the line is y is equal to mx plus c. Let us pick this line for that matter right. Instead of using any other form let us use the point slope uh, the slope intercept form. This is easy, right? And we directly have the slope which is required at the end of the day, right? The slope is required at the end of the day. Direction in which straight line must be drawn so that its point of intersection with the line, this. This is another line, x plus y equals 4. The point of intersection with this line, this q. This is point P, let's say, and this point Q may be at a distance of 3 units. Okay, this distance is 3 units. That's what the person is saying. Okay, PQ is 3. This is given. PQ is equal to 3. Okay. And one of the points is given on this particular line, therefore we can say that 2 is equal to minus m plus c or you can say c is equal to m plus 2. In this manner you can eliminate c easily, right or not? Yes. So once you have eliminated c, what text? You now have the equation of this line, you already have this equation. Can you find the coordinates of q? Yes. Once you find the coordinates of q, then you can find uh, the value of m, m is the unknown using this distance pq, right or not, yes. Let us do that. How will we do that? Let us begin with x plus y equals 4 is the first line. y is equal to mx plus c. c is m plus 2 is this equation, right. Let us uh, replace y with 4 minus x, okay. Solving these two gives me y equals 4 minus x. This is 4 minus x is equal to mx plus m plus 2, okay. This tells me x will go over here, m plus 1, 4 minus 2, 2 minus m upon m plus 1 is equal to x. This is the value of x. And y equals 4 minus x. So 4m mm, plus 4m plus 4 minus 2 plus m will be 5m, 4 minus 2 is 2 upon m plus 1. This is the value of y. Right? This is what you have. Okay? Please check this value once again. This is... 4m plus 4, okay, this, this is okay. This is the value of y. If you can observe this carefully, yes, these are the coordinates of q. q coordinates have been found over here. Therefore, pq equals 3. And with this, okay, I can substitute this x2 minus x1 easily, y2 minus y1 easily. This tells me that pq square is equal to 9, first of all, right? And now, now let's substitute pq square x2 minus x1 will be 2 minus m upon m plus 1, minus or minus 1 will become plus 1. So, 2 minus m upon m plus 1 plus 1 squared, this is x2 minus x1 whole square, y2 minus y1 whole square, this 5m plus 2 upon m plus 1 minus that 2 squared is equal to 9. Oh. And now I see a m plus 1 in the denominator and you observe that you seem to be getting a quadratic in terms of m. A quadratic in terms of m implies that the answer, the, you'll get probably two answers, two answers, yes. So one of the distances, one of the points q can be at a distance three units like this and another point can be at a distance of three units like this, right? That is the possibility in this particular question, right? Although you may get one more condition that if both the roots are same, if both the roots are same, then this 3 is actually the perpendicular distance. Can you check the perpendicular distance of this point? This is minus 1 plus 2 minus 4. So this becomes okay 3 upon root 2. Now this is 3. 3 upon root 2 is smaller than 3. Okay. So therefore, you are supposed to get two particular values for Q, two particular values of M for that matter, right? And this quadratic seems to be going in that way. Okay, so let's try to uh, multiply with this m plus 1 whole square. This will come in the denominator common. Let's bring that over there. In the numerator, you get 2 minus m plus m plus 1. What is that? 3. This is 3 squared plus, what is this equal to? 5m plus 2 minus 2m. 5m minus 2m is 3m. 2 minus 2 is gone. Okay, this is squared. This is in the right hand side, you have 9m plus 1 whole squared. Okay, what is this giving me further? 
this tells me that this is 9 plus this is 9 m square and this becomes 9 m square plus 18 m plus 9 okay and here a very peculiar thing happens peculiar no it seems does not seem very peculiar initially but then this says that 9 m square 9 square is getting cancelled yes okay so you were initially maybe getting a quadratic but this m square terms gets cancelled so you are left with only a linear equation and you can also observe this 9 also gets cancelled and what you are left with is 18 m equals 0 or m equals 0 seems like the only possible solution but then we guessed that yes if this is one solution then you are supposed to get another solution in this manner and herein lies one important observation what is that observation that if in such cases when the uh, coefficient of m square becomes 0 or when you seem to be getting a quadratic but at the end of this solution you see that uh, the term of m square gets cancelled then the one of the roots has been missed and what is that root you remember you remember one thing that slope is not defined for an inclination of 90 degree right so slope is not defined means such a value of m cannot be obtained in such an equation right and that is the value of m that is missed m undefined or m tends to infinity that's what you call it right m tends to infinity or m undefined is what you want to call it right inclination in this case inclination in this case is 90 degree so this is theta equals 90 degree line and this is theta equals 0 degree so what you are doing here is actually the direction in which a straight line can be drawn is along the x-axis and in the along the y-axis that's what you are showing over here so one of the lines will be parallel to the x-axis the other line will be parallel to the y-axis that's what you can comment on the basis of this final answer and obviously with some application of common sense as we did over there right this is important and this is one of those typical things that you should be aware of very well right something which we have observed from the diagram over there and then analyze this particular answer that you are getting over here right so whenever whenever you seem to be getting quadratic and that term of m square gets cancelled but in such questions of straight lines what you will have is one of the roots one of the roots which was undefined has been missed okay for that theta equals to 90 degree that particular inclination of 90 degree has been missed you pick that inclination of 90 degree as well Right, that's the final solution for this particular 16th question one line is parallel to the x-axis other line is parallel to the y-axis from this particular point right so one of the lines will be x equal to minus one the other line will be y equals to two and you will get two possible points q right that's the final answer for this question as you can see over here